हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ स्ट्रैट इंडिया नेवी चीफ एडमिरल आर हरि कुमार ऑन वेडनेसडे रिसीव्ड द फर्स्ट मीडियम अल्टीट्यूड लॉन्ग एंड्योरेंस अनमैंड एरियल व्हीकल दृष्टि 10 स्टार लाइनर फ्रॉम द अदानी डिफेंस एंड एरोस्पेस इन हैदराबाद ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वाज साइंड बिटवीन द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस एंड द अदानी एरोस्पेस टेन मंथस एगो फॉर द सप्लाई ऑफ फोर मेल ड्रोन्स फॉर द इंडियन नेवी एंड आर्मी अंडर द इमरजेंसी प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोसीजर दृष्टि टेन इज एन एडभांसड सर्भेलांस एंड रेकनेसेन्स प्लाटफर्म विथ थर्टी सिक्स आवर्स अफ एंड्योरेन्स एंड फोर फिफ्टी के जी पेलोड कैपासीटी इट इज द ओनली अल वेदर मिलिट्री प्लाटफर्म विथ नैटोज टेन एक् फोर सिक्स सेवेन वन सर्टिफिकेसन फर द यू ए बी सिस्टम्स एयरवर्दिनेस With this coveted NATO's TANAG 4671 certification, signifying adherence to the standardized agreements, the Drishti 10 Star Liner stands out as the only all-weather military platform with this prestigious recognition. This certification ensures the UAB's airworthiness, granting its clearance to operate seamlessly in both segregated and non-segregated airspace. Hermes 900 Starliner also known as Hermes 900 heavy fuel engine is the larger variant of the Hermes 900 medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial aircraft systems developed by Elbit Systems of Israel this UAS is suitable for military and commercial applications including intelligence target acquisition and reconnaissance maritime patrol and border security The drone has a wingspan of 17 meter and a maximum takeoff weight of 1600 kg. The aircraft's automatic takeoff and landing capabilities allow it to take off and land in near zero visibility environments. An active de-icing system is installed for removing ice on surfaces to ensure safe operation in icing conditions. The drone has direct and indirect lightning strike capability. and can perform missions under instrument flight rules in all weather conditions the hermes 900 starliner can carry a range of multi sensor payloads weighing up to 450 kg for multiple applications it is compatible with multi spectral electro optical payloads such as spectro xr westcam ms15 sky eye wide area airborne persistent video surveillance mist g airborne imaging system and a laser designator and marker the spectro xr system is installed beneath the nose cone to provide surveillance fire control and targeting capabilities the belly mounted sky eye wipes is used for intelligence gathering observation and surveillance purposes the onboard imaging sensors capture real time imagery and provide wide area persistent surveillance during both the day and night the aerodynamic efficiency of the hermes 900 enables the operators to perform frequent changes in flight profiles enable the visual identification of vessels at sea in addition to the classification of vessels based on their inverse sar signature provided by the radar satellite communications enable it to fly to a mission areas at extended ranges as far as 1000 nautical miles from the shore the redundancy in data links enable the control of two uas simultaneously from a single ground control station this has a significant effect on the assets manpower and operating cost as well as in improving the efficient utilization of uas that can now cover more area or run a denser surveillance over a given area recent spate of hijacking of indian bound ships or indian manned ships in the arabian sea indicated that there is a gap in the indian maritime surveillance capability or could be some nefarious designs by anti india forces hence induction of two additional uav will definitely reduce the load on existing two sea guardian drones for surveillance of sea line of communications for the time being however to maintain an effective presence in the indian ocean region 
domestic solution is required like Archer NG drones which is quite essential after the setback of Tapas BH drones. India should also activate its newly constructed naval air station in the Agaliga Island as soon as possible and deploy its monitoring assets like PATI, Donier and Heron drones to effectively monitor the Indian Ocean region and to keep a hawk eye on Chinese and Pakistan naval activities. Thanks for watching our videos. If you like this video, do not forget to share and subscribe our channel. Jai Hind!